guys! Miss Anel here, and welcome to our episode of Beautiful Katamari! In the last episode, we rolled up a bunch of calories, like this cake! Okay, no, we didn't actually roll up the cake, but- Ah, you're not rolling me over this time, train! Away with you! No one rolls up Masay. <laughs> but anyway, in this episode, we are playing as Hands, who is kind of a really weird cousin. He is extremely weird. He has like a bowl for a head, which I guess it kind of fits because we just rolled up a bunch of calories, you know, food in a bowl or something. I don't know, but I find him really interesting, more interesting than honey. So we're going to go ahead and use him. Take a picture just for fun. And we're off to the mechanical colony. And I still like how there's like a little alien up there. Actually, now that I look at it, it looks like a Pikachu. It looks like an orange Pikachu. Look at it. It's, it has like the pointy ears and black tips and pink cheeks. Except it's kind of orangey and has a really weirdly shaped head. Hmm. But anyway, onward to the mechanical colony. We have two cousins and one present to look for this time. Roll up mechanical objects to make Aunt Leah. Aunt Leah? Aunt Leah! All right. Welcome to the state-of-the-art mechanical colony. We're all a great Katamari here to get the pump and teal. I keep wanting to say Antila. Ant Leah, like Ant Lion. We want lots of mechanical stuff. Like TVs and radios and calculators and robots. May as well make it a sleek and high tech pump, yes? Alrighty, off to Earth. See you later, alligator. You know, for this star, it sure is appropriate that we're rolling around, I, I'm assuming, Japan, because, you know, Japan and their robots and fancy electronics and stuff. I swear, I haven't actually been there myself, but I've always heard that they have this fascination for lights and electronics and robots and, case in point, a bunch of robots all over the place. Okay, we'll start in this store this time, and I see absolutely nothing to roll up around me, so I should probably head down to the floor before he's done talking. All right, lots of things to- I did not mean to skip your dialogue, Kingy. I am so sorry. I thought there was like a space to roll up down here. Or not roll anything up for that matter. Anyway, so we have model carriages with model trains. Okay, I love model trains. Model trains are the best. I don't know, I've always had a fascination for them ever since I was a kid. You know, whenever Christmas comes around, I have this model train that I like to like- Come on, roll! No, I do not like to roll my model train, though if this were Katamari, then I totally would. But, anyways, I was saying, every time around Christmas, I always, always, always make sure that we have a, um, a train set up. And it's freaking fun! I don't know why, just seeing it roll around and like, go choo-choo-choo-choo all over the place. I don't know, just that choo-choo sounds like Christmas to me. It really does. Anyway, I am rambling. I'm rambling and bragging about my fantastic train setup. I'm actually doing really badly here because I can't find anything small enough for me to pick up. Everything's like gargantuan. But anyway, so, though it doesn't quite look like it, this is actually the supermarket that we're rolling around. Rolling around, stop hitting me, okay. Yeah, it's extremely littered this time around, even more so than usual. I guess that just goes to show you how much fan loves their electronics and robots and all that fun stuff. Ooh, these are big! I like, I like it, I like it, I like it. Say, does appreciate these big robots to roll up that don't actually require me to be very big. All right, there we go. So, now there's conveyor belts, like right here that have a bunch of stuff on them, before you actually head up to the second one, I would kind of suggest for you to be about like 1.3 meters, just because the higher up you go on the conveyor belt, the bigger stuff is going to actually be, so you really want to make sure that you can actually pick stuff up when you go there. So we're going to stick down here for just a little bit longer and pick up the things that we can, which 
with that size boost, we can pick up a lot of stuff now. That was a pretty good size boost. All right, so we're at one, well, actually 0.9. Come on, get me up to one meter. Yes, all right, so one meter. Just a little bit more, and I'll feel safe enough to go up to the conveyor belt. All right, supermarket. I, I don't know what's with that guy in the middle of the uh, freaking walkway. He's just kind of like floating around. He's like a mad scientist or something. All right, so I, I have two minutes left? Seriously? All right, this is an extremely short stage. Um, whatever floats your boat game. All right, so we're at one point two. This should be good enough, really. Yeah, this is more than good enough. All right, up to the conveyor belt we go. Awesome, awesome, except if I can find it. Here we go. Here we go. Now up, 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 up. See, lots of big stuff right around here, some of which I still can't pick up, jeez. But it's a really good size booster around this size. Now, on the second one, I believe there is a cousin. If I can just find it. No? Where is it? I know. Ah, here it is. See that line of stuff right there? Come on. It's right there. Yes. Hmm? Something twirly. It's Ken Ken. Holy hornby. Whoa. Wow. Two collectibles right in a row. That's freaking awesome. All right, so that 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 was very convenient. And under one minute remaining, under one minute remaining, and I still don't have the other present or other cousin or whatever it is. Um, um, I would like to go outside, maybe. Actually, no, I would like to be the size that I am required to be for, you know, not failing, not having the king be mad at me. Um, but I'm having a little bit of a hard time here. Ah, doors open. Doors open, and we go outside and stuff. No, 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 sir. No, sir. You are mine to roll up. My little lonely rolling police officer. All right, you know what? Dash time. Dash time, because I am worried about size. Screw the other cousin, because holy crap, I have like five seconds, five seconds, five seconds. Come on. Or something small. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Two meters and one centimeter. I was like, wait a second. Am I actually going to do this? All right, off we go to the Prince Dom. Okay, that had the potential to suck really, really badly. And you're here for just kidding. The fate of the cosmos hangs on you. So, did you get mechanical stuff for Antalia? Hope so, because you're vermicelli. Uh, ver vermicelli? Uh, okay, I'll take it, I think. Actually, no, he probably meant that as something bad. Anyway, this is the Kanamari. Okay. I'm gonna get a terrible score because I was like bare minimum. Hey! 1100 objects collected. Alright, looks like you managed to get some stuff. Lots of mechanical stuff. Just for us. 28 points. <laughs> yeah, 28 points. Is this on purpose? Like, for a documentary? If you don't shape up, we'll ask Huey for help instead. Thanks. Alright, so we got a present. I have no idea what the heck that is. I guess we'll find out in a bit. And a trace of weediness. Can can. Hungry? Try the pasta in the pasta prima donna in the prince. Ooh, pasta. Masaya likes pasta very, very much. Her Italian roots are showing. Well, very small Italian roots, but Italian nevertheless. And away, metallic Antalia. All right, I will see you guys back wherever the other cousin is. All right, so we are looking for the present. Or cousin, rather. And this is bizarre. This is bizarre. Everyone has electronics for heads. Check it out. Everyone has, like, typewriters and TVs and clocks and all sorts of stuff as heads. She shoved her head up a, up a, up a rice cooker. 
I, I don't know. I really don't know what to think about this. I really don't. This is kind of bizarre, even for Kanamari set standards. I mean, look at these penguins. They're like rice cooker penguins. Literally. Their faces are rice cookers. <laughs> okay. This wins. This wins. Hands down. Kanamari, you are king. You are king. Anyway, praising this game aside, because this is just bizarre, what we want to do to find this cousin is to roll up these down satellites. And, 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 come on, there we go. Turn right here, it's going to double back. Now we want to follow it all the way to the end, pick up everything we can along the way. Shut up, King. Now there's a roof right below us. What we want to do is drop down. All right, and... No, shut up. Let me see. Where, where is the cousin? I know it's somewhere on this roof. Here we go. Aha! Look at that. Look at that. See that weird hair? It's Kune. Something narrow. Why aren't you at the drum recital? Yeah. The hair. Piece of hair on top of the... Um, on top of the, 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 the building. It was a cousin. Just when you thought this game couldn't get any weirder, right? <laughs> anyway, so we are doing much, much, much better since my last run. Well, maybe not that much better, unfortunately enough. But I can make myself feel better, right? Right, right, right. At least I'm not just barely making it this time. I actually have some slack. All right, come on. And done. Alrighty, all done. Off we go to the Prince Dumb. Royal Rainbow times two! Alrighty, here we go! And you're here for... Yeah, shut up. Just tell me what my score is. Alright, congrats. Can we go? Here's what's in there. Alright, so we did get the most electronics, no big surprise, since everyone was freaking made of electronics. Third place was cute? How is third place cute? What cute stuff did I roll up? 84 points! Dude, 84 points! Up from like 20-something! Wow! That's raising a grade if I ever seen one! Awesome! A fair showing, we think. A solid kind of Katamari. Shut up! Don't say it's not inspired, because that is that is inspiring to raise my grade from a straight-up F to a B, from one report card to the next. <laughs> anyway, something supple. And I had no idea what that word was. In the princedom, stretching is a popular pastime. Yay for our constellation! Woohoo! Knock that piece of crap out of the way. And we got... A precision Antlia. Antlia complete! Is this all you- uh, Yeah, whatever, King. Whatever. Alright, I am quite satisfied with that. Very, very satisfied with that run. That was- That was awesome. Thumbs up. I have a feeling that's one of the easier- Easier, um, stars to make, but I don't care. Anyway, so what we got this time around, we got a harmonica. Awesome. Oh, right. The only other thing that we got was a second cousin. Wow, that's kind of mean. The only... Uh, it's okay. The only other thing we got was a second cousin. Poor Kuhn. Anyway. Yeah, a harmonica. That's... Honestly, it doesn't even look like one. I don't really care for this accessory too much, but we'll wear it because it's something new. But... It just looks like a bar across the face. They're not even holding it or anything. And it just kind of looks like a horizontal mustache without the majestic body or something. I don't know. Anyway, so that does that. We have finished up yet another DLC level. In the next episode, we will be tackling... This one, the lover's room. Well, hello. <laughs> so anyway, I will see you guys next time. Messina out.